Hey Capricorn, welcome back to Path of Enlightenment Tarot. For those of you returning to the channel, welcome back. And for those of you who are new, welcome to the channel. I am Nicole. It is a privilege and a pleasure to have each and every single one of you. So guys, uh, this is going to be your mid-September reading. Um, this will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus cross watcher. If that is you, welcome to the channel as well. If you've not joined uh, before. And uh, guys, discern the messages as always. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind move on from there. A quick thank you to everybody who has subscribed, liked, commented, and shared the channel. I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you. For those of you who have booked personal readings and have made donations to the channel to help support it, I, again, heartfelt gratitude. I thank each and every single one of you so very much. So with that, Capricorn, let's get started. Uh, the one thing that came up intuitively, I heard from Spirit, was between worlds. You are at a new beginning. You are, um, crossing over into um, a higher dimension and elevation of the energy that you have been in for a while. Um, I feel like you've been tinkering with it for some time, but you're now moving on and moving forward through that as well. Um, it's almost like you know when we are incubating in the womb, right? Like we slowly, one, two, three, by the way, um, we slowly gain, you know, our fingers and our toes and our extremities and our eyesight and all of these things, right? And it's like these parts of you, there may still be like key pieces missing, but they're coming together, right? It's like you're being rebirthed into something new. There is um, this mass potential behind you that's pushing you forward into a new light, a new dawn, a new day. Um, it's, it's evolutionary. I got the chills. Oh my. It's like evolutionary energy Capricorn. And I love this energy for you. You are starting to find your own. You are paying attention. You are listening more than you are speaking. You are gaining the strength and the courage, um, rebuilding the structures of the body as well. So, um, good stuff. What tried to come out there? Reaction. Okay. Let's see. All right. Spirit for Capricorn. What do they need to know? So there's the Unity. This card has come out and shown its face time and time again as I've worked on these mid-September readings. I think you guys are the sixth sign that I'm working on here. Um, and then renewal. I just said it. You're being rebirthed. There it is. You are becoming whole once again. So I like that for you guys a lot. What is this energy for Capricorn? Productivity. Do not push yourself too hard to be productive as you are still incubating, we'll call it, right? Um, you are going from this child to this woman. You are coming into your own. You are stepping into a new a new transformation of yourself. Um, this is also, Spirit is saying, making nice with yourself, taking care of yourself. Um, it's a sweet energy. It's like once you start to pamper yourself, you start to do things that are beneficial to yourself, um, you start to realize how much more you're capable of, how much more you can cross over into things that maybe you thought were not going to happen, things that you thought were going to be hard and difficult. You're recognizing that the hardest parts of some of the things that you've dealt with um, are behind you, and those skies are clearing. They're opening you up to, to something new. So, okay, Capricorn, what else? Magnetism. Um, you're being drawn into the light, and what I repetition. This is an end, revolution in, in rep repetition. This is revolutionary energy, as I already just, or I said evolution, revolution, whatever. Um, this is you evolving from past cycles. So if you were dealing, and I'm going to say with depression too, depression, sadness, running from your emotions, not really ever closing out cycles, just kind of leaving them open to continue to repeat, I really feel like this is a time for you um, and they're bringing up the fact that Capricorn is in Pluto, or Capricorn is in Pluto, Pluto is in Capricorn right now, right? It's a tug of war, and I've, I've said this so many times over too, like this tug of war between what we know we need to do and then actually doing it. So it's like you're being drawn into the light. You are looking at the older version of yourself and the way you cared for yourself as to how it was not serving of you, and you're like, trying to make peace with, um, and I'm going to say forgive yourself. If you didn't see the light, if you didn't see certain things, don't harbor resentment uh, of yourself for those things, right? Forgive yourself. You are a person too. You know, we would give 
and extend forgiveness to others, you need to give that forgiveness to yourself as well. Um, but I don't feel like, I feel like you kind of tried to hide certain parts of you that you didn't think were capable of being seen or heard or understood. And now it's like you're seeing it from a totally different set of eyes. So in this magnetism, again, drawing you towards the light, drawing you into things that are going to be much more sustainable, much more balanced, much more happy than uh, where you've been in the past. So it's really good energy, Capricorn, for you to be in. And I like this for you. So Capricorn, let's see what else is going on for you at this time. Let's feel it for Capricorn. What else does Capricorn need to know? I just said, listen and slow down. Don't rush it. There it is again. You can't make it up. Um, it, it just amazes me after all these years of doing this, that still, um, the way they come out. So yes, you're opening your ears, you're listening, um, and you're recognizing too that people are listening to you. It's not just about, um, you know, the communication coming from one way, it's coming from both sides. So I feel like too, uh, there may be a specific person in your world somewhere that finally is listening to how you feel about things, what you're asking for, what it is that you need. Reminder, you cannot run on empty. And I think that this was the lesson here recently, or you could be going through this lesson of understanding the need to just slow down and listen to your body. You know, when we have to listen to ourselves, what is our body, our mind, our soul speaking to us? Um, to pay attention to those things and you will be productive again. You will be moving forward again You will be drawing in what you need, but you need to do it in a slower pace I think than you're used to doing we can credit retrogrades for that, but at the same time it, it's providing us This time period to slow down to address what we need to address so that we don't deal with these things again moving forward uh, we're gonna connect <clears throat> To be able to connect to other people around you to ask for help um, you're in need of, of connecting with people too on a higher souls level. So you may see too, like, you know, you always find out who your friends are in tough times, right? Um, this may be part of that too, that old connections are leaving your life and you're stepping into ones that are much brighter, uh, for you. So I, I like that networking for some of you too, is going to be key, whether this is job or hobby related networking, your skills and talents, um, and then a pause. I'm going to sit that there because it didn't come out in the upright. Protect. Yeah, protect what you've worked for. Protect where it is that you're heading and what you're doing. It's okay to protect your energy. And too, when we talk about that, you may be reevaluating uh, the people. There we go. Reassess. Grounding. Healing. I'm telling you. Opening up to that. Um, it is okay to protect your energy. You know, you want to know that your boundaries and you know we have to admit boundaries with ourselves because we are the ones who teach other people how to treat us right so we have to make sure that our boundaries are set in place so that we know that anything we get ourselves into whether they're relationships contracts business whatever it might be um this is my boundary this is what i need to do for me and hopefully you understand and respect that and then we can move forward from there and that's kind of like what's happening uh with this magnetism again you're able to discern better now what is a vibrational match for you and that's where you're heading as you move forward all right past present and future energy for capricorn and spirit past present and future i've seen this a great big love and great and full talk about loving space learning to i'm just hearing learning to love yourself learning to love thyself and that's a beautiful beautiful energy to be in always to be in the space of loving thyself very for Capricorn please past present and future past present oops let's see the royal you um it came out in a very funky way but we're gonna take it what I'm gonna say to that is with that royal you you are beginning to understand the depths of, of who you are and recognizing your value and your worth in that um <clears throat> That seven to me, I also I've said it a lot, uh, equates to boundaries, right? Just drawing the line in the sand and saying this is this is where this stops or this is where we go, um, and with that, you're recognizing what relationships again are serving you, what things in your life are serving you that are going to meet you halfway, that are going to respect who you are, where you are, what it is that you're doing, what you need to do for yourself, and know. Anybody telling you, no, I can't do that, that's just that no's not going to fly anymore. Or even if they don't directly say no, their actions are going to speak louder than their words, and you're recognizing 
I see how you're treating this situation with me. I'm not going to do that. And that 10, 10, 10 is very important as well. That is a higher calling of your path, right? This is you are heading, uh, headed towards the right direction. Uncharted Sea. I'm going to take that one. Um, <laughs> another 10. <laughs> another 10 as I say that. The Uncharted Sea is about moving into waters that we are unfamiliar with, right? We're We've casted that boat out on the water, and what's amazing to me about this is, yes, that sail is set, but that pelican on the on the boat is not using that paddle or his ability to control um, the wheel of that ship. He is just trusting that he is being guided exactly where he needs to go. Don't You don't have to force control anymore, Capricorn, where I think you were trying to force control, you're coming at it from a more compassionate manner. You guys tend to seem to be in a much more loving space in general. Uh, and I feel like your energy is a lot calmer than it usually is. It's not so like stuck and um, abrasive sometimes, right? Like, let's just be real. Uh, I've got some Capricorn friends, like I get it, um, kind of come across a little on the rough side sometimes. Um, but this seems to be like you're, you're in the flow of the emotional areas, um, but it's kind of like they're swishing around. But I feel like that that's a little bit of fun for you. You might be getting a little bit of a high off of that. Because it's like, ooh, what is this? Ooh, what is that? Ooh, let's ride that wave. Ooh, let's feel this. So it's kind of this adventurous sense of when it comes to your emotions. Because you're being um, more careful with your energy, you are more open to feeling it out rather than just turning away from it going, I'm not even going to try to contemplate what this means or where this is going or what is happening or who this person is. So, and what is the future energy for Capricorn, please, Spirit? Future energy for Capricorn. And we're going to take that one, too. Roots of Abundance. You are. You are strengthening your connections. That card's back out on the bottom again, beyond the ordinary. It started off on the bottom and ended on the bottom. Um, this Roots of Abundance is strengthening uh, who you are. Strengthening what serves you, what's protecting you. I also feel like you're working, um, some of you, Spirit is saying financial security, you're building your financial security with this, and we talk about this roots, the root chakra, right, that has to do with our stability, uh, you know, our home space, our security, all of those things, and I feel like that through this energy that you're, you're dealing with, and I, I just feel like this message is going to be short, but it's going to very to the point, um, that you're harvesting and then putting away on reserve various forms of abundance for yourself. You may even be prepping, they're showing me like canning and jarring and um, you know some kitchen kind of work or hobbying, whatever, like I said, connecting, connection and connectivity. Um, wisdom is coming through with this. Like the one thing that I thought was interesting on a couple of the cards I seen was the eyes. Something very much to do with whether your eyesight, what you're seeing, how you're seeing things in general, for each of you, it's going to be different on how you're viewing that or what you've got going on in your world. But I feel like um, you may even have somebody coming in and telling you how beautiful your eyes are. Your eyes could be like a key feature to who you are. Like there's a depth to your eyes. There's a brightness to your eyes. There's a, wow, your eyes look better. It's, it's something to that effect. Like the, the healthier you are physically, emotionally, mentally, the brighter your eyes are. Okay, so just be aware of that in case somebody says something to you. Be like, what are they talking about? Well, that's what they're talking about, okay? All right, this royal you, spirit for Capricorn, please. Two cards. The Magician and the Two of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Um, I feel like for a little while there's those emotions again kind of fluctuating. Um this need to want to push through there's kind of like the old the old self kind of wants to push through and control um how you're feeling if you're not feeling well especially when it comes to your back and shoulders um take your time you're going to get there um it is important for you to be nimble with the self right now okay um be gentle if your emotional energy feels off, I feel like your body is feeling off in, in a specific time. You may think that you have a lot of things to do at home. You may have a lot of responsibilities and things of that nature. Feeling like you can't quite get them done. You will get there. You will absolutely get there in due time. 
uh, everything that you need on this new fresh start is available to you. You've got magician, right? He is manifesting. He's working through. He's got everything. He's got that tool chest, right? He is fully prepared. Um, you may have to pick a direction, but I also feel like there may be certain things or certain situations or people that you may be leaving behind as well. And that may make you feel not so great, right? Like a little, a little bit guilty kind of thing. Um, but you also recognize that where this took you before was a place that was unhealthy. It was unbalanced. It, it left you in some type. And I, I really want to say an emotional lack more than anything. Um, and it could have been draining, financially draining to some extent as well. So, you know, with those pentacles there. So just, you are going to replant seeds. You are absolutely going to replant seeds. This uncharted sea, we have the strength card. You've got to be brave. You've got to be brave to chart those waters uh, as you don't know where you're going or how you're going to get there. The nine of cups. I don't know if you and the four of pentacles, you're, hang, you're hanging on. Um, but I, I feel like you're hanging on to what you know to be an inner truth somehow with that. And I talked about the seven of pentacles and there it is. Um, you're, you're hanging on to maybe certain ideas or plans that you might have had in the past. And you're, you, there's almost like a bravery you have to have to walk away from those and then move into something that is new for you. Um, I don't know that you feel like you can see how this is going to be um, fruitful for you. But there it is, the Wheel of Fortune, right? That is the positive turn of events. That is the wheel. It's you getting back to the top of your game. Through that, this Nine of Cups will turn to the upright. It will give you this fulfillment that your soul has been craving for a very long time. Trust that you are being guided. You have closed a particular chapter. You are opening a new one. Um, things are going to go in your favor. Now that you've got certain things out of the way, um, they've been seen, they're being adjusted, it gets better from here, okay? And then this Roots of Abundance, the World card. I'm going to take that. It was pretty, pretty fucked out there. The World card. What else for the Roots of Abundance? Told you it's a completion of a cycle, and there it is. Queen of Pentacles. There you are, Capricorn. I'm telling you, you are going to be moving in the bringing up the month of november specifically so october november i'm going to stick with november though primarily um make sure that you're paying attention to the people as you come into this abundance as you come into this this stable stable version of yourself i just don't feel like you're reacting like maybe where somebody might have said something to you or did something to you uh and you're like well you know you're a real shithead um you're not it's like you you aren't the way this feels is like you're kind of in your bubble you're exercising your right to take care of you you're not giving a whole lot of consideration to the outside world and when you do though it is compassionate but you're not allowing outside influences to affect you anymore like so if you just had somebody who just wasn't nice you know if you're dealing like if you're younger and you were dealing with a bully or just somebody who nitpicked about stuff if you're an adult and you're fighting with co-workers or um, even family, friends, anybody who was just constantly either draining you energetically, financially, mentally, whatever it might be. Like you are just not engaging in anything that is not compassionate or isn't real and authentic anymore. So you're closing this out. You're moving on. Beautiful, beautiful energy. I will say you could be dealing with a Leo. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo again and repeat those four all over. Um, so let's get you guys some advice. Capricorn, I like your energy. This is fantastic. Capricorn, Capricorn. What is the advice for Capricorn, please, Spirit? We're wrapping this up pretty quickly. Yours was pretty straight to the point. I feel like the readings that I've done this, this series started off pretty heavy with Scorpio, and um, they were pretty deep messages, and the further into these I go, the better off y'all seem to be. So, good deal. Advice for Capricorn, please, Spirit. Nectar of the Lotus. Your devotion to helping others has the effect of squeezing the heart chakra of the Divine Mother. From her heart drips nectar, sweet, sustaining, life-affirming energy that feeds you and allows you to nourish many souls. When you are full, well, and vital, you are able to nourish others. You are guided to receive your fill now for your own benefit and the benefit of all. Ta-da! Like, there you go, Capricorn. Ta-da! Like, that is exactly, you know, taking care of you, putting you first. And, you know, again, like you, 
talk about the plane. You know, if you're on a plane, you put the air mask on yourself first so you can help others. Um, if your cup is not full, you cannot pour from an empty vessel, right? Same, you, same thing. Like, this is all about you taking care of you, and it's a beautiful energy to be in, and I'm super stoked for you guys. Yay. Yay, 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 Capricorn. Yay. Super excited for you. So on that note, I'm going to leave it there. Capricorn, if you're interested in a personal reading, that information can be found again in that description box below, as well as the about section of the page. Or you can check me out at holisticallyzenwb.com for a full list of products and services. I'm wishing you guys the very best. Stay the course. Stay, stay, stay the course. I love this. Take care. I'm sending all my love. See you soon. Bye.